So let's talk rumours and data slates of conspiracy theories once more. More Warhammer 40k rumours have been circling the internet, and in a fair few of them, apparently Armour of Contempt might be going away for Space Marines. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today I thought we'd be covering a few more data slate rumours, these supposedly likely to be a bit more reliable than the last. As Games Workshop and the Warhammer community at large have been talking about quite a lot recently, there's going to be some really big changes to the game coming in January, points changes, new missions and a way to play them with that Arcs of Omens detachment, and also a new balanced data slate, potentially tweaking a few rules and things where points cost fixes might not be the best for the game. Now over the last week or so, there have been a fair few sources claiming that they've got insider information of one sort or another, a fair few of which have been rebuffed by people who seem to be familiar names within leaking things from 40k rules, but one that's cropped up in a few different places but doesn't really seem to have had much pushback is the idea that Armour of Contempt is going away, but Marines in general will emerge from the update stronger overall. I feel like it's very much one of those broad take type rumours as opposed to anything massively specific, and in terms of rumour territory, I put it in the slightly surprising but believable territory. They are updating points costs and game rules at the same time, so it's perfectly possible that they could remove Armour of Contempt, potentially give Space Marines other buffs if it made sense, and of course adjust the points to be a bit more appropriate for what their abilities are in game. Obviously at this point, I'd treat these as rumours and fun teasers as of what's to come. I feel like they're overall a fair bit more likely than the last set that was reportedly faked, but of course we won't know 100% one way or the other until Games Workshop actually releases the data slate itself. I thought we could just talk through a few implications, a few rumours about points and doctrines, and then one interesting set of Death Guard points cost updates, something that was talked about by a couple of different sources. First up for Armour of Contempt, I must admit this wasn't really a change that I expected Games Workshop to go back on, particularly as generally the narrative of Warhammer 40k is that most marines at the moment are generally struggling a bit, at least on the competitive scene, the more Codex and less Divergent Marines particularly, but also armies like Grey Knights, Death Watch and Black Templars aren't having such a great time of it compared with some armies in 40k. If Armour of Contempt were to go away, then I would strongly suspect that Games Workshop would be reducing Marine points costs as a result, and quite possibly changing out the Marine special rules a little bit, maybe giving them something else to help with their combat doctrines, or something else for the other armies. I feel like if they were to actually make them stronger overall though, then that would require them to give them some pretty significant buffs. Armour of Contempt is basically a plus one to saves for most of the Marine faction, really quite a significant thing, and the fact that they're still struggling despite it is kind of telling. If these rumours rise and it did go away, then the biggest impact would perhaps be to 2 plus armour save units, and perhaps things like Space Marines just in cover, where they'd be getting effective 2 plus saves with immunity to a minus 1 AP. And even having things like minus 3 AP would still have them save on a 4 plus. I guess if it did disappear, it might make things a bit more relevant again that didn't get it. Things like Storm Shields with Vanguard Veterans, maybe Nemesis Dread Knights for the Grey Knights. And other things might revert to previous rules, things like the Salamanders Chapter Tactic or the Iron Warriors for the Chaos Space Marines I suppose. Both of those have mechanics where they ignored AP-1 attacks, but they got superseded by Ignore's Wound Rolls because Armour of a Contempt wouldn't have stacked with that. I think whether or not people would see it as a good change might be a little bit mixed. I feel like there are criticisms that you can certainly make of it. Many people feel it's a bit of a band-aid patch to Space Marines and things, though I must admit I do in general think that it's one that works really quite well, fairly well targeted to the things that need it most. I guess you could just reduce points costs to make Marine units very good in their own right, but I feel like for the most part, people would rather Marines be a little bit more powerful and cost a few more points rather than just spamming hordes of them. For AP, it's a bit of a double-edged sword. I do quite like the way that it makes high AP weapons really quite relevant when you're fighting Marines. AP-4 is actually genuinely helpful to have, rather than often being a bit redundant and you're hitting invul saves or negating saves entirely. Though it does mean that AP-1 attacks do have some slightly skewed matchups. Say for example, all choppers are fairly decent against anything that isn't in Armour of Contempt, but negating the AP entirely is pretty bad for those sort of weapon profiles. Overall, if the rule did go away, it would shift marines to be a bit more damage focused and a bit less durable. If points costs do come down and all their attack power becomes the same, then they're going to be more aggressive and, and dangerous per point, even if they were losing armour of contempt. I really am quite unsure as to whether or not this will come to pass though. It does seem that at least a fair few rumour leakers have been posting it, though I must admit it would feel like a pretty strange move to me, take away one of the powerful band-aid patches that's trying to make Warhammer 40k a little bit more held together particularly when it affects mainly armies that are towards the lower end of the meta, barring maybe sisters and chaos space marines. 
Otherwise, the data slaves and points change rumours, multiple different sources have generally been coming out with saying that Space Marines are going to be going down in points pretty much across the board. I guess they'd kind of need to if Armour of Contempt really was going away. They'd need to bring the points down just to keep them where they were. The other thing that keeps on getting mentioned time and again in these rumours and leaks is that combat doctrines are going to be reworked somehow, but there seems to be a bit of disagreement as to how that reworking is going to happen. There have been various things mentioned, like being able to choose the order of your combat doctrine, or maybe having them reworked a bit similar to the Chaos Space Marine Wanton rules, so you get to apply the extra AP to more weapons. The Wanton rules, say, in their equivalent of Devastator Doctrine, would also apply to Rapid Fire, for example. I guess if they do want to make Space Marines stronger in general, the combat doctrines are perhaps an obvious way to do so. Maybe that in conjunction with points costs. Finally, I thought we'd just touch on some Death Guard points rumours from Warhammer Competitive. I think that these have been posted in a couple of different places, including one rather all-encompassing supposed leak that did seem to be in broad agreement. These rumoured changes for the Death Guard had Plague Marines going down to 19 points, which ordinarily I would have said wouldn't make a lot of sense, a generally quite a good unit for the Codex, perhaps one of the very best out of the army right now, and if that were to be the case, I would guess that it'd probably come hand in hand with losing Armour of Contempt, as otherwise I just really don't think that they're a unit that needs a buff besides that, I'd say just about anything else in the Codex could probably do with one before them. Otherwise, from that same source, they said that Terminator upgrades will become free, similar to the Plague Marines. Most vehicle upgrades in terms of weapons or extra bits will become free as well. So things like the Bloat Drone's alternate arbonance, and the same for the Plague Burst Crawler. Supposedly a Bloat Drone sitting at 115 points with the upgrades free, so a cheaper flesh mower there. The Blight Hauler going down to 110 points, and the Plague Burst Crawler's base cost staying the same, but you don't need to pay the extra points for the Entropy Cannons now. On top of that, supposedly cheaper Elite characters, and the Blight Spawn as well. I guess all of this, if they did lose Armour of Contempt in conjunction with it, would probably shift the army into being a bit more of a damage dealer, and a bit less tanky. Though obviously all speculation at this point, it'll be interesting to see what happens, and how accurate this turns out to be. So anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm a bit torn on this one myself. Do you think that Games Workshop might take away Armour of Contempt, and then use points and doctrines and things to try and make Space Marines more decent again? Or do you think that these supposed leakers are just people having fun posting some fake rules, and Games Workshop are going to keep Armour of Contempt, but do something else to help out these struggling chapters of Marines? Look forward to hearing your thoughts as always down in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, then feel free to subscribe to All Specs Tactics, I'll certainly keep up with any news and rumours on the balanced data slates, and I do tend to post more general 40k game content on most days. Otherwise, if you have been enjoying all the videos on the channel, I would just like to mention that Allspets Tactics does have a Patreon page as well, and you can find that linked in the video description if you're interested in helping support and keep the videos coming. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things come next on the channel, and automatic entry into the regular prize giveaways with the chance to win some big model kits each month. If any of that sounds good to you, or you'd just like to help support, the link is down in the video description. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.